As I'm slowly taking down tomatoes, you can see my ripenings on the window ledge there. Some of them aren't gonna work. You can already see that one's gone. So it was too green. Oop, that one's gone. So there's a few that uh, won't make it. But I have these spent pots that were spent of potting soil or, you know, the uh, tomatoes grew out of them. So all the, a lot of the nutritious stuff is gone. So what I do is I empty the pots into this container here and I planted the spindle because spindle is a, doesn't mind having poor soil. So I've, you can, I've done it and planted it in rows so that I, when they come up, I'll know that they're not weeds because they'll be um, small kind of reedy characters when they come up. So I'm gonna I bury them all in this and that will be, hopefully, I will have some spindle um, coming up in the spring. There we go. So this potting soil is all damp, so I don't need to do anything. And I leave it outside and I put a sign in it so I don't forget. So it's spindle. Did I spell that right? S-P-I-N-D-L-E. Yeah, I think I did. Okay, so I've planted spindle in here this year and hopefully something will come up in the spring. I'm having fantastic bird song at the moment. Somebody's very jolly. I can't see them. They're a tiny bird. Oh, there they are. Right at the tippy top up there. Very jolly robin. And it's lovely, there's stuff coming up under here as well. Look at those beautiful primulas. These primulas are so gorgeous. I was given them um, this year. Look at those. Aren't those gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful with their flaming surround, the yellow and orange. They're just gorgeous. I love these. They're bright sparks underneath the growth of all of these biannuals and the roses these delicious roses oh and they still smell good so they're still happening and of course the dahlias they're a little ragged now but they're because it is the end of the season but they're doing very well and beautiful and gorgeous so a little bit of the garden.